back to another Moon Princess Vlogs. I know I haven't vlogged in a while since my last video where I was at college, so I took the time to think what this next vlog was going to be. So I decided to react to video clips of Rey and Usagi Sailor Moon moments. So if y'all haven't seen the anime and do not like spoilers, then do not watch this video, please. <laughs> But if you don't know mind spoilers and just want a little taste of what the anime is about and why is Moony fans are so hyped about it, then by all means. Warning, um, Sailor Moon is not the only anime that I love. I watch other animes, but it's overall my number one favorite and will remain that way forever because of the things that it really stands for. So, mm -hmm. Rei and Usagi are like my favorite friendship trio. So, hope y'all don't mind me fangirling and pausing the video just to address some general information and then probably the rest I might say some stuff at the end so let's get right into it would any of you like to work part-time here as shrine maidens uh, grandpa huh? just stop hitting on everyone would you oh hi Please, Ray grandpa, you know people creepy. around here are starting to say very unflattering things about you <laughs> <gasps> she's so cool and pretty so she's a shrine maiden I wouldn't mind doing that part-time <laughs> You really saved me, thank you. My pleasure. By the way, have you had one of these daifuku? They're just really delicious, you'll love it. Huh? No! <laughs> you have to say one thing about Ray's grandfather. In the 90s anime, because uh, there's several resources for Sailor Moon, I'll mention those at the end. But in the 90s anime, Ray's grandfather was depicted very creepy in a lot of different ways, not gonna lie. And the reason why they did this was because Naoko, the creator of Sailor Moon, was writing the manga. And they needed character development for most of these characters that Naoko was still developing in the manga. So they went out of their creative license abilities and decided to make Rei's grandfather very creepy. He's very different in the manga and in the remake of the anime that's more faithful to the manga. Called Sailor Moon Crystal, by the way. It has my name on it. <laughs> I'm famous in a way. Let's keep watching, because this scene, oh my god. Uh, die, Sailor Moon! Sailor Moon, no! Please! Raging fire! You know what? What? I really had fun arguing with you all the time. Wait, why'd you just say that? I thought I'd tell you in case something bad happens. Stop it! This isn't the time to be joking! needs to be done here. I'll defeat them and Queen Beryl, then I'll come home. So please, Ray, just go home. I don't want you to die. Oh my god. I appreciate your concern, but I'm afraid She's I can't let you do that. You need to save your strength for the bigger battle. Besides, you've never seen anyone come close to beating me. Give me two minutes and we'll go finish Queen Beryl together. Can we just admire how she made it gloomy and then all of a sudden she's like, Oh, but I can kick ass, don't worry. I'll be right back. BRB. Finally, it's Ray's turn to perform. I am so nervous. This song is from my heart for every one of you. Ray, you are so awesome! I feel the warmth within my heart Cause I know that's where It's flow. 
a lovely song. <laughs> Thank you. I never realized, but you're a really super hard work. Is a hard worker, not gonna lie. Thing or two about hard work. What? No thanks. I don't need to be like you. Well, fine then. You're the one who's gonna regret it later. Uh -uh, I'm perfectly happy the way I am. I love how they always fight. It's like the perfect relationship in the friendship dynamic. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I love how I love their arguments. I always look forward to those every episode. It's from the Super S movie. The second arc, I think. Yeah, the second arc. That reminded me of like a Sailor Moon account on Instagram that's doing a parody of the of the Super S movie, and there was this one scene that they did the same scene, but it was like cusses move and i'm like it reminded me of that usagi usagi wake up come on usagi you have to wake up this is how you know ray really you cares liar. for her you said you wouldn't die those faces and their eyes those facial expressions say everything it's gonna be all right Usagi. But how? We'll work together. We'll find a way by combining our powers. I'm sure we can remove her evil and bring back the girl we love. You're right. Thank you. Come on, Ray. Oh, her pure heart Say crystal. Something. Just so you all know the context, her pure heart crystal was stolen in one of the seasons. I forgot which. I think it was a third. It's going back into her. They're all like so surprised. Like if they haven't seen this happen so many times, but of course it's their friend. Are you? Can we just admire how realistic they make these scenes are, like if it's happening in real life? Like, she takes a whole while to wake up. It's like, whoa. Goodness, she's awake. Why are you all staring at me like I died or something? You technically did. In a way. Ray's finally back to her normal mean self. <laughs> Thank goodness. Soggy. <laughs> I don't no, understand that. Really. Like, why is she gonna eat? Huh? I wonder who those two are. But don't you want something to eat? I always get about food. I'm fine, really. Come on, you can stop crying, Usagi. I can see you that made that nice thing with these clumsy thing. hands why of yours. Clumsy? Here, use this bandage so oh. you don't bleed on everything. Thank you. Let me put it on for you. We all need friends like that. Not gonna lie. You okay? Sailor Moon. God. Uh, do you? Like working with kids? Uh, well, yeah. What a coincidence! I'm thinking Chill, of having Minato. three children myself! Oh, no, girl. Wait for me. No! Usagi! Oh, I must have hurt a great deal. Something from a table like that? She just flew away. So then, is she really going is after Mamoru? Yeah. She can't do that alone. Damn it. That girl's playing right into Nihelania's hands. Usagi, you idiot. Not this scene. Let's take a pause. I can't. I'm not prepared. The first time I watched this scene, when I first watched the anime on the last arc, because this is already in the last arc, I cried like hell because... You come to understand who Usagi really is and what her friends mean to her in this last scene. Literally. Ray, come on! Wake up! Please, Ray! Everyone! I just wanna hug her, like. Be such a baby. I know you're better than that, Musaki. You can't go, Ray. You promised. You'd be with me till the very end. You can't break a promise like that. 
Don't leave me. I can't do this without you. Tell me you won't be alone. You still have Mama Ru, remember? <laughs> Sorry that I won't be there to protect you. He gets you in the feels every time. You understand that Usagi, right, right. she can't, she doesn't like being alone. She, she wants her friends by her side. Even Momo-chan. Oh my god, that scream. No. All the emotions in that one scream. Oh, you tell Galaxy girlfriend. Oh yeah, you tell her. Give no one messes back. with your friends. Give Ray back to me. No one messes with my friends. No one. We can all agree that the last scene was a little emotional. Um, that That's one of the most emotional scenes out of the whole anime towards the arc ending, actually. And... Oh, gets you in the feels. So that was Usagi and Rei compilation scenes. The relationship, friendship dynamic between them is so beautiful. Like they argue, they fight, they, they, everything that you would imagine like a friend slash sister would do. And it just brings about it so much beautiful. I just love that. A lot of people can say that Usagi is much more close to Minako. But from my perspective, from the way I see the anime, is that Usagi is a lot more closer to Rei in so many ways. Because um, Rei just cares so much. I mean, they all care about Usagi. They all do, don't get me wrong. But Rei has this way of showing how much she cares for her to the point that she would just do anything to protect her, to be honest. And Usagi, on the other hand, on that last scene, you see what her friends mean to her. Um, there's even on the last season, the last arc, there's a whole clip of her saying how she can't live alone. She can't live by herself. Even though she tries, she needs Mamo. She needs her friends because to her, her friends are everything to her. She can't live alone. She's afraid of being alone. She doesn't know what to do when she's alone. And I think that that's a feeling that we can all relate to in so many different ways as humans. Like, we're afraid of being alone, even though we say we want to. There's always going to be that side of us that is always afraid of being alone because humans, we're built for company in so many different ways. We just don't realize it in the moment. But Usagi shows us it's okay to try to be strong, but then there comes a point where you realize that you need help to get through it. You need um, support to get through it. And... She's the strongest character that I've ever seen on an anime, to be honest. That's why I love her, because she's so relatable, and so are the senshi. They're, like, so freaking relatable. It, it's just a whole other level. So, Sailor Moon resources, if you want to know more about Sailor Moon. Um, there's the manga by Naoko Taikuchi. There's Sailor Moon, the anime, the 90s, the original. There's PGCM, a live-action series of Sailor Moon. And there's the newest Sailor Moon Crystal, which is the remake, which is much more faithful to the manga. So y'all can check those out. If y'all don't want to sit through 200 Monster of the Day filler episodes, then check out either the manga or Sailor Moon Crystal. So that's it for today, guys. And if y'all want me to react to any more videos, anime doesn't have to be anime specifically. I'm open to anything. If y'all want me to react to anything, let me know in the description box down below or send me a DM to my Instagram, which is in the description box. So thank you. And until next time, be a moonie.